Hi, welcome to another Fuddling video. Um, this one is going to be on creating artwork uh, from your photos uh, in GIMP. I'm using another tool here called um, uh, Photo Sketcher, that's F-O-T-O uh, Sketcher, which is available at uh, photosketcher.com. The URL is on the screen. It's truly a tremendous program to have in your arsenal if you're going to do this kind of stuff. I would highly recommend downloading it, you know, now. Um, I've talked to uh, the developer, David, and he's uh, really a nice guy. And uh, he's put a lot of time on this, so I would contribute to that site. Uh, do the, uh, you know, hit the donation button, uh, because it is uh, absolutely something that's worthwhile having. Well, anyways, um, the objective here is uh, to create um, uh, artwork from your photos. If you'll notice here... I have a photo, you know, let me see where I did with my, there it is, my layers dialog. Um, here is the, I took this image, which uh, basically uh, I shot last year, and uh, what I did is I applied the effects that we're about to talk about, and it ended up with uh, this image, which is uh, far more artsy, watercolor looking, and, um, um, you know, is, I, I consider it more desirable. Uh, it's definitely a lot more unique. So anyways, the first thing we have to do is we have to assemble some layers to get this kind of effect. We have to assemble some layers uh, from the um, uh, Photo Sketcher program. So this this first video is just a uh, introduction into combining the two programs. And um, if I last that long, I've got a cold. <coughs> Um, and then uh, what we will do is, uh, in the next video, we're going to get into operation of his software. And the video after that, more about integration with GIMP. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this layer, uh, which is the resultant, and leave my original photograph. And um, I'm going to come up here to edit and copy. This will be evident in just a minute. We're going to open up the Photo Sketcher program. Several ways to get into this program. Uh, one is, um, you know, to do file and open a picture. Or the other one is to go into edit and uh, paste the image from the clipboard, which we just did. This is the Photo Sketcher program. Really nice software. Now, um, once we have this image uh, pasted in or opened up, we're immediately presented with a dialog box here. Again, this is just an overview, where you have pencil sketch effects, pen and ink effects, uh, painting effects, stylized effects, or miscellaneous effects. And um, what you can basically do, <coughs> I'm going to turn off texture now, because um, in modifying the program um, and turning off adding a frame, because in modifying the program, basically, I'm going to... Um, add the texture to the resultant image in GIMP. This will be more apparent in the next video. But I can come down here. I can select what I would like to do. I'm going to take Pencil Sketch 3, <coughs> which is like a pastel type um, effect, a pastel, uh, you know, chalk type effect. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly uh, darken the image here. I can leave the I can vary the color intensity, uh, increase the stroke length slightly. That's the stroke of the effect, the length of the stroke in the effect. Um, slightly increase my edge intensity. Okay, um, and slightly increase my edge threshold, and then I'm just going to sell it simply to draw it. More about the operation of this program next. But what it does is it actually draws it. And what I can do is dismiss this dialog. I can uh, reintroduce this dialog by uh, pressing on this uh, uh, this uh, artist seasonal. But see, I have that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to Edit, and I'm going to um, uh, copy the drawing to the clipboard. Okay, I'm going to return to GIMP. I'm going to come up to Edit. 
I'm going to paste my uh, clipboard into a new layer. Which I've done right here. Now that slid over it. Now the reason that I have these two layers is um, number one, what I want to do is take this uh, pastel type um, image and I want to expose more detail from the original image, which is the picture below it. And by doing that, what I'm going to do first of all is come up to this clipboard uh, layer. I'm going to come up to my layers and I'm going to uh, make sure that I have an alpha channel triggered, which I do. I'm going to come up to my erase tool and which is right here uh, I'm going to select the fuzzy circle I'm going to make it nice and large yeah that's about right and then I'm going to come down here and make this about 30 percent or so and now what I can do is I can erase this top image to bring out the detail in the lower image. So what I have is I have this artist type effect, but uh, what I have is I want more realism in this section. So what I can do is I can do that. Now, That's basically what we do is combine the layers from um, Photo Sketcher with the picture and with layers in GIMP to produce that effect. Now if I'd like to, what I can do is I can come up to my image, I can flatten the image, and then I can come up to my filters, and I can come up to artistic, and I can apply a canvas and we'll make it a depth of about two. We'll say OK. And there's our canvas layer on top. Now we're going to get into a lot more sophisticated things that we can do uh, with uh, Photo Sketch and GIMP. This is a very brief introduction. In the next video, what we're going to do is learn how to use the program. So for right now, uh, I would suggest you download this. Um, the URL uh, was previously on the screen, uh, www.fotosketch.com, uh, uh, download the program, and donate um, to that site. This is a very worthwhile piece of software. Software in this neighborhood is probably worth 50 or $60 a copy, and um, it, it feels good to donate to a guy like that. So now, uh, please visit um, www f-o-t-o-l-i-n-q dot com. This is my site uh, for more um, um, educational um, and um, education on GIMP and uh, photography in general. Thank you.